Hi, everyone. Good morning. Thanks for listening. I'm Tom Lillehome, a PhD student at UW-Madison, here presenting my pitch, which is a novel drill guide to accelerate neurosurgeries. So for a bit of my background, I'm in my fifth year, and I've been studying medical physics with a focus on image analysis and MRI-guided interventions. I've done work with neural networks to detect pathologies and anatomy, uh, diffusion imaging for quantitative brain mapping, and developing a guidance framework for MRI-guided biopsies and cryoablations in the prostate. We've used that prostate system to perform over 25 procedures here at UW, and I've adapted some of its design elements to be applied on the skull and brain instead. So the skull can make brain surgery rather difficult. It's often necessary to use stereotactic-like guides and either CT or MRI imaging to safely access and operate on the brain in procedures like the placement of deep brain stimulators for management of Parkinson's and epilepsy, or convection-enhanced delivery, or brain hemorrhage evacuation. It's necessary to prescriptively plan a trajectory before some long insertable device can be inserted into the brain. These types of trajectory guiding devices have a bit of history, and they've been developed and iterated upon through multiple companies over the past few decades. Image Guided Neurologic, or IGNs, developed the next frame in the 2000s. In the 2010s, Clearpoint Neuro developed their smart frame, building on and improving IGN's methodology. It's become the leading device for these types of minimally invasive surgeries. Now, in the 2020s, we've developed the AccuGuide to iterate upon this concept even further and address lingering issues users had with the previous technologies. As precision is highly valued in neurosurgery, current clinical workflows are built around non-invasive MR imaging to view internal anatomy and position guidance devices relative to the targeted tissues. Acquiring MRI images, however, is rather slow, and the needed scans can take 5 to 10 minutes, depending on resolution and FOV. The current leading method first attaches its guidance device to the skull with a set of screws, and then a scan is acquired to orient this aimable channel down the center of the device. A series of continuous dials, these colored knobs, uh, can be twisted to adjust the channel, effectively aiming it at different locations within the brain. After each adjustment of the dials, a new scan must be acquired to check the alignment of the current trajectory. This leads to an extended iterative process where operators must adjust the channel, check its alignment with uh, another scan, and then adjust the channel further if necessary until they're satisfied with its position. Uh, all told, these repeated scans necessarily make the procedure significantly longer, taking up more of the surgical team's time and extending the duration for which the patient must stay under anesthesia. This scan adjustment time is reported to last 80 to 120 minutes, depending on which exact devices are being used. Our device, the AccuGuide, circumvents this iterative phase by allowing the trajectory alignment to be achieved in 45 minutes using only a single scan. Instead, users attach the guide, take one scan, and then using a target picked on that scan, uh, companion software will tell users specific quantized adjustments to make to the device's configuration to aim the channel appropriately. Users may then immediately move to inserting their devices through its channel. This workflow has been validated in both a series of phantom trials and tests performed on human cadavers. So while prior methodologies employed continuous gears for alignment, the AccuGuide has a quantized configuration. Its three pieces slot together, but the, uh, the mount, the ring, and the cassette can all be rotated relative to each other thanks to this array of teeth around the ring. Meanwhile, we actually have a set of 61 different cassettes, each with its channel at a slightly different angle relative to the central axis of the device. As you can see here, uh, switching out the cassette can change the alignment of the central channel by up to 15 degrees off axis. Between ring rotation, which we could call variable theta, and cassette choice, variable phi, there are 23,851 unique trajectories that users can define with the AccuGuide. Compared to the infinite options prior designs offered, this greatly simplifies the optimization necessary in trajectory alignment while offering a high enough resolution to still hit targets with sufficient precision. All told, this new design benefits users and patients by meaningfully reducing the duration of these neurosurgeries. This will improve throughput and reduce anesthesia time. Additionally, the AccuGuide is smaller than previous devices, making it more convenient to use in procedures that might require multiple attached at once, like bilateral procedures or large volume convection enhanced deliveries. I think that's my time for now. So thanks for listening. Um, this is the rest of the team here at ImageGuide. 
and looking forward to seeing everyone at the conference.